All right, we're gonna take a few minutes to introduce the Easy Air Engine project. So this is the Easy Air Engine. Um, I designed this a couple of years ago for my eighth grade students to build. It's pretty simple to make if you have access to a few fairly simple power tools and some metal. Uh, it's called a wobbler. It's often referred to as a wobbler. It's a, it's a form of a steam engine. Uh, high pressure air, I just use an air compressor. High pressure air comes in, uh, goes through the valve plate here into the cylinder. When the cylinder is up like this, the hole lines up with this. Air pressure pushes the piston down. Flywheel continues the piston to come back up. There's another hole that acts as an exhaust port underneath. And as the piston comes back up, it pushes air out and uh, just repeats the process over and over and over. You just got this little valve here I used to hook up to it. But you hook the air up, give her a little bit of air and just a little spin and away she goes. It'll run really, really slow. If you spend some time fiddling with it, you can get it to run sub 200 RPMs if you play. But the cool part is it will also run very, very fast. And it turns into a blur. We've got uh, a few different parts here. We have the cylinder. We've got this piston here. It's just a piece of 3 8 rod. We have a crankshaft made out of eighth inch welding rod. We've got this valve plate. We have this crank support. Uh, and then the last big piece is the base. Um, flywheel, brass, uh, really could be made out of anything. It doesn't even have to be round. Uh, we have a few other pieces. We've got this bolt, the spring, the washer, the nut, the roll pin, and then we've got a couple of nuts on either side of this flywheel. So um, the first thing we need to do is start cutting pieces out. If you're following the instructions, all the metal needed is listed here. There are a few other pieces you will need uh, to buy making this on your own um, the bolt uh, nut washer spring all the things I just showed you on the on the actual model it's all listed out here um, each part uh, in these instructions uh, measurements are given uh, order of operations for a very simple basic order of operations are given to help remind you uh, of what needs to be done um, the videos will be the key in getting these pieces made correctly um, as a class, we're going to cut pieces out uh, several at a time. We're not going to reset up the bandsaw to cut this and then cut this and then cut this. We're going to cut maybe 15 of these out at a time so we're not constantly changing the settings on the bandsaw. Uh, but, so this is our first step. We're going to make the crank support, uh, then we move on to the valve plate. Uh, cylinder, uh, piston, flywheel. As you go through this, it, it uh, kind of gives you the basic rundown of how each of these parts are made. And the following videos will give you much more detailed demonstration of how to make every part. Just can't wait to see your engines running.